How difficult is it for these players to come in to somewhere that isn't an established side? If you see, I mean, there, there's no spine to this team. It's not just like adding a couple of more, a couple of more ingredients to make this a tastier dish. It just seems to be starting from scratch every time. Well, if you know what this dish is supposed to look like at the end, I think that that would help. I mean, right right now, and I think it was Joe who, who touched on it. Nobody knows what to expect of Chelsea. No, nobody knows what this Chelsea is even supposed to look like. So you're not quite sure what you're asking of all those signings. And yes, I, I thought uh, last summer's transfer activity was, was um, haphazard at, at, at best. Good players, but coming into a system that, uh, and, and, and change of coach, nobody quite knows what, what to make of. And, and it's, it's, just, it's, it's just imploding. And for as good a manager as Potter has shown himself to be, the longer this continues, the harder road back it is. Players become disenfranchised. They're not sure what their role is, what his role is or his future at, at the club is. There's still, nobody's still quite sure what Tobolu is going to be doing with the club and, and how he's going to be managing <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah, he's, yeah, he's behind there. What's up, Tom? <laughs> no, no, no. So, nobody's quite sure what he's doing, <laughs> doing back there. And as, as a player, the longer that continues, the more difficult it is for you to, to buy in right. to, to what, whatever it is. And, and um, unfortunately, it means that a very well-established and well-liked manager certainly coming into the job in Graham Potter is going to be the one who will be the face of that failure if it happens. Does it become kind of self-preservation from a player's perspective? Well, of course it does. It, it's human nature. You start mm. feeling, oh boy. Right. Everybody's walking on eggshells, and if you're walking on eggshells, you're going to take care of you first. Now, I'm going to go along with the analogy of the dish that you just mentioned, right? Well, it's only been a couple of years ago, or removed from this dish, winning Champions League. Mm -hmm. Michelin star, you could yeah, say, well, couldn't you, if it's Champions yes. League. So, how, <laughs> how much did this need to change in order for them to stay competitive and stay at that level? I think what really should be highlighted here is how quickly the fall from grace has happened for this group of players. That indeed there was a core group in place, that indeed there was a team that was successful, that reached some level of success to the point of winning Champions League, and then two years removed from that, we are having this conversation as to we're considering whether Graham Potter is the right answer or not, and as to whether he's going to be the face of the failure or not. I think it goes beyond just the players that they've gotten. The decisions at the administrative level, obviously, the change in ownership plays a part into this. The whole culture of the club plays a part into this. And as to your question, Dan, yes, when you know things are in trouble, you're going to take care of yourself first. Right. That's just the way it is. You want to protect your career. You want to protect your path. You want to protect yourself. But the mistake is, and it's a common mistake, when you do that, you're not any closer to playing as a team to playing together, to playing well on the field, and to performing well on the field together. And the only way to win matches is to play well together. So it's one of those things. You want to protect yourself, but you have to give enough of yourself and put yourself out there just enough to make sure that this team plays well together, and I don't think they've been able to do that. So how does Potter address that, Robbo? Well, first of all, he's got to get a system that he really wants to play. He's got to make sure that he's, he's got the players in the right uh, positions. And he's got to make decisions on players. He can't sort of say, well, I'll, I'll give him two or three games and I'll give him two or three games and I'm going to change the system again. He's got to give the players something to focus on. This is the way we're going to play. I've, I've now had a good look at you for eight weeks or eight matches or whatever it is. I'm now going to play this sort of system. I'm going to play you there, you there, and we're going to go with this for the next month when they come back or next month, two months and I'm going to get it right. I'm going to get it right, because that's the problem. As Ali said, the players will be looking at the manager. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.